Well, today on Sunday Gardener, we're venturing into water gardening. And normally I'm joined by Carrie Angle, but Tim McQuaid, I hear you are the guy to talk to when it comes with to keeping your water garden healthy. Look at these plants. I mean, they're they're incredible, almost alien-like, but they give a lot of benefits to our to our water gardens. Oh yeah, very much so. The first plant we have here is a water hyacinth. This is known as Look a floating plant. Wow. And these guys, you literally just throw them on the surface of water. They, they multiply like mad. They're great because they give a lot of surface coverage. Mm -hmm. They take up a lot of nutrients. They help with the clarity of the water. Yeah, that's they a key word. Fish, yeah. You said clarifying. That's an important thing. So how do these plants help the water? Well, basically they, soak, they take up a lot of nutrients. And because of that, they fight against algae for the food source. Mm -hmm. And they usually went out because they shade the surface of the water. And they also help take the nutrients and so they're taking those major food sources away from algae and helping with the clarity of the pond. Wow, so shading the water, are you talking about not only from the sun but maybe giving shelter from predators? Well actually uh, just really for one is just shading the pond for the nutrients mm -hmm. and then also for sheltering the fish it also provides the shade for getting the, allowing the fish to be underneath there and being protected. And it's incredible. You said they just multiply, like off of the stem, a new plant would yeah, grow. Yeah, they just keep on growing. They'll, when, they, when they start developing, they'll develop a stem, and then a little baby will offshoot up from that, and they'll keep on doing that one after another, and they'll keep on doing it all season long. <laughs> I am just in awe of this plant. Now you have different varieties, too, some that live deeper down into the water. Right. The other ones we have are submerged oxygenating plants. They call them oxygenating plants. We like to call them water clarification mm -hmm. plants, okay? With plants, it, during the daytime, they produce oxygen, but at nighttime, they take in oxygen. So our main goal is we use these plants for clarification. These plants take and thrive on a lot of nutrient in the pond, so they help fight against the algae by, again, taking that nutrient away from the algae. And because of that, they help with the clarification of the pond. And these guys, you sink them down into the pond, and with that, they also provide a little bit of shelter for the fish. The fish like to uh, swim in and hide into them, and they also will actually spawn in them, laying their eggs in there. This is just fascinating, you know, venturing into a whole new world of water gardening and things you can do to keep your water healthy. Thanks, Tim, and happy gardening.